sitting on the train. I don't know why. We're sitting on the train is packed. <laughs> sitting, sitting, sitting. And it's packed. Packed, packed, packed out, packed out. Look at this. Station. Yeah. New York Penn Station. Yeah. We are at the Madison Square Garden, Pennsylvania Station, Madison Square Garden. the New York Knicks play and all kind of concerts and everything else going on. Madison Square Garden. We're in downtown New York behind Penn Station. There we are. There's the front part of Madison Square Garden. Front part of it. All these taxis like you see in the movies. Taxis, taxis, taxis. We're on 8th Avenue. West 31st Street and 8th Avenue. Yes, it's busy, busy, busy. Back where we were, the GPS got us lost. Trying to get to a less busy spot and catch an Uber to the World Trade Center Memorial. Yeah, if that's possible. We were stood up by the Uber driver, the carpool Uber. Never get a carpool Uber. Uber, get a regular Uber, because they come on time, but the carpool wants to pick up other people and just cancel on you. But it's good because we are on the subway now, and it's cheaper. Uber would have been $10 for a carpool for us, but this subway is $11 there and back. Much cheaper, much cheaper, much cheaper. Subway station, wait. Bye. The manager just happened to be down here to help us and assist us with the subway stuff. God's in control. God's in control of this trip. Blessings on blessings on blessings. Because there's no booth down here. He just happened to be standing around down here. Blessings. Deuce. Just had a real eerie feeling because this is the street that I remember seeing on the newscast. We're headed towards the World Trade Centers, and I remember this street was one of the streets that people were running down when the cloud towers collapsed. It, it just hit me when I got up when we got off the um, subway and came up. I'm like, this is one of the streets where the towers collapsed. I ha it has to be because I remember seeing it on TV. Almost 16 years. This is the 
World Trade Center Memorial, 9-11 Memorial. And uh, I there's the museum. Let's go in here and see if we can still get our tour. See if we can still go in. Hopefully, since I paid, even though we got here super late, hopefully we can still get in. I hope I don't lose my, my ticket. Please let us still get in. Please, please, please. Very sad, we're walking through the 9-11 Museum. There's audio playing from the newscast and from the survivors and maybe the family members and videos on the walls. See the videos on the walls. Tall. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Pretty sad. This looks like this is ground zero. I'm not sure because I thought the memorial was where the two towers stood, but I think this is part of the actual towers, the buildings that were left. That they built the museum in. Or either they took parts from the buildings and put it in this museum. be from New York to feel that day. You just have to be American. Don't even have to be American. You just have to have a heart to feel the horror of that day, 9-11. It's really sad. I, I don't know, I'm trying not to cry. Don't know if I'm a holdout, but it's terrible. 3,000 people lost. 2,977 people lost here. September 2. This piece of the fragments is just sad. Really sad. Pieces of the buildings. That's all that's left. And they're still building the new one. They're not even done with the new towers. 16 years later. My child right here, six foot four, was a baby in diapers. It was just crazy. I cried when it happened and I feel like crying now. I had this picture of it. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what to say. Really don't know what to say. It's very sad. It's not a museum that you wish ever had to be built, but it did for whatever reason. But you really don't wish it had to be built because you wish it never happened, but it did for whatever reason. May God rest their souls. Posted all over, light posts, and posted everywhere in New York. People were looking for their family members. Thousands of people gone. These are stairs. First, they speak the survivor stairs, people that survived. 
came down these stairs and ran down that street that, that we came down, per se street. Yeah. It doesn't even look like the stairs. Yeah, you have to jump. Everybody's traumatized from this event. America wasn't as safe as we always thought it was. After this day, we realized that. What this is, this is, what is this? Box column remnants.
on my road September 14, 2001. It's called Why Lord? Lord, I know not to question your will, but why do so many innocent people get killed? A lot of them early for their work day, not having a clue what was on its way. I was awakened by my radio alarm saying two planes had crashed and turned CBS on. So I rushed to my TV to see what had happened and oh my God, was my only reaction. I had no idea two planes had done this. Hit both World Trade Center towers, taking thousands of lives at the flick of a wrist. First thing I thought was, what about DC? I wish someone there would have had that thought and not me. Because a few minutes later, it was too late. A third plane crashed in the Pentagon, but many escaped. Still hundreds of lives were lost by the explosion. The whole nation was overwhelmed with emotion. First it was shock, followed by fear. Then came anger as we see and hear people praising your name and dancing in the Middle East. What Lord do they praise? One of war and not peace? They call themselves your people, but how could this be? Those were innocent people in NYC. They had done no wrong to them nor their country. So why laugh in the face of our sympathy? But in spite of their terror, our country stands strong, breaking racial barriers that have lasted so long. All races bonded together as one, so we are a stronger nation, and their war was not won. I have never seen all races so glad to carry an American flag. So as you say, vengeance is yours, and I'll put down my anger and say this battle is not mine, it's the Lord's. And I wish that we could get back as a country to the love that we all had, all races, all black, white, Asian, Indian, Arab, all races were together as one on that day. And now it's become a racial black, white, police against black. I wish that we could get back that feeling that we are all Americans and we need to stand strong as one and love each other. No matter the color of our skin, it's the content of our character. Amen. This one I wrote on September 23rd, 2001, and it was, I felt like it was a little kid that was missing their father. So this poem came to me and it's written in the language of a little kid, a five-year-old kid. I don't know who this kid is. It just, I don't know, it just came to me. It was strong and I had to write it. It's called, God, What Happened to Daddy? God, I am only five years old, but I am praying to know what happened to my daddy. Why did he have to go? He kissed me goodbye that morning before he went away. God, what happened to daddy? Is he gone to stay? I saw a movie on TV and mommy started crying. I, it was about two big buildings and some planes hit them while flying. Mommy kept on crying and I was getting scared. Why did they show this movie? I wish daddy was here. Then mommy picked me up and hugged me really tight. I said, mommy, call daddy. He'll make everything all right. Then mommy tried to call him, but she didn't get an answer. I said, maybe he's helping Santa, feed Dasher and Prancer. See, Daddy liked to tell stories. Lots of them were funny. He had a big shot friends like Santa and the Easter Bunny. But now a long time has passed and Daddy isn't home. God, I know my Daddy wouldn't leave us all alone. He would kiss me goodnight and always tuck me in. Please, God, where's my Daddy? He was my bestest friend. Mommy told me that Daddy's gone and some bad man took him away. She said Daddy worked in those buildings that those planes hit that day. I thought it was a movie, but Mommy said it's real. Mommy said those men were mean and lots of people got killed. Now I see why everyone in my town was crying. Maybe they saw it too and their mommy or daddy was dying. I kind of understand what, it, what is going on and now I know my daddy has done nothing wrong. Mommy says you have him in heaven with you. And she says when I pray, he is listening too. So God let him know I love him and I'm going to be good. And I'll take care of mommy like I know he would. God, I miss my daddy, the way he laughed and played, but my mommy says he's an angel, and we'll see him again someday.
So God, take care of my daddy and know that I still love you. Oh, and mommy says you're the greatest and there is no one above you. Amen. Those poems were dedicated to those many souls lost along this wall and the other wall of the memorial. Praying for those souls and still praying for those families 16 years later almost. September this year will be 16 years since September the 1st, 2011 and 1. Those poems were written for whoever that father was that passed away of that child and just for all the ones that lost and all of us around the country and around the world that were traumatized by this event. 16, almost 16 years ago. May God be with you and may God keep you all. Amen. God bless. And the sun goes out. walking down this street. He wants to walk back to the place. We walking in New Jersey like we locals. Eating a one dollar McDonald's ice cream. Cause it's hot. Hot, 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 like 90 degrees. Super hot.